trying to figure out is how a broke bitch gonna tell another broke bitch she a broke bitch bitch when you just got finished selling all your niggas shit to get back to where you needed to get. Now you got a little receipt and you think you the shit. Pause for a minute. Sit down for a bit. Bitch, here's a stadium. Pick you a seat. Say another motherfucking word, you gonna get your ass beat. Y'all can borrow them rhymes, Rashida. You need it. Girl, bye. This is the life. Fucking with my eyesight, bitch. I'm at the number the fucking right. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. These bitches is on my motherfucking nerves. Like, what's your storyline doing? Nothing. What's your storyline doing? Nothing. What's your storyline doing? Nothing, bitch, because you ain't got one. Come back when you got it, bitch. Got it, bitch. <laughs> Girl, bye. I, uh, I don't know, like, I know everybody else is getting tired of loving hip-hop. I know they are. I, I've been hearing the uh, the buzz, and it's just, I don't know. I ain't going to get into it right away, because I don't even got my mind right enough for that. Let me just get into this show. I got my notes, because I can't even think. If I don't, If I didn't write these notes down, it wouldn't be no goddamn review, because I would just be sitting here the whole time like, bitch, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, what's up, you guys? It's Miss Jenkins. I'm about to get right into this shit so I can get to talking about what the fuck I want, want us to look at. Am. Um, girl, first of all, we starting off with Rashida. Rashida still ain't shit. She over here dogging her friend out every chance she gets. She throwing shade. Kalina want her purse. You know, she like, leave that purse there. Ain't nothing, nothing in it. It ain't nothing but zero dollars in a bitch. And I just felt like, ugh, like, why are you acting like that? You know, I felt like Tony, like, you know, he said something very honest at the end of the day. He said something very honest. And I just felt like in that moment, like, Rashida, you could have just grew the fuck up. I feel like both these bitches need to grow up. I mean, I was Team Kalina, but the way she dragging it out and crying about everything, it's like the first time you cried, we was there for you. The second time, it was like oh, the postpartum was kicking in, and that's why. So we understood you. You know, <laughs> at this point, it's like, bitch. I'm mad that I even wrote down all these motherfucking notes, because I'm not even going to do all of that. I, I just felt like, Kalina, you need to grow up a little bit. You over here worried about what Tony is telling these people who was like your best good friends just a fucking week ago. And now you're sitting here in your feelings and now it's like, why would you tell my business in front of these people? Because, bitch, at the end of the day, these people are the ones that give a fuck about you the most up until this point. And I'm sorry that you're not getting along with your friend, bitch, but I felt as though we've been a team, we've been a unit, we've been the squad. I needed to let them know what was going on with you, bitch. And I'm not even going to go into it. I'm not doing it. I'm not. I don't even know why I wrote what is in. Anyway, moving the fuck on. Mama D. Mama D is getting married, child. She getting married. I'm happy for her. The dude, what's his name? Curtis Russell uh, Cleophis. Theodore, I don't know what the fuck his name, I forget, but, uh, I've, you know, he don't seem like an actor, so I guess this is real, you know, he seemed real, gen he seemed real, like, authentic, you know, like, real straight, you know, slow nigga, you know, authenticity there, I see, so I really think, you know, he the way he feel about uh, Mama D, I don't, I don't peg him as an actor, I don't know anybody who would pay anybody. I don't know. I don't, but then again, you never know. He could be genius and going full retard on us, and we would not motherfucking know. Moving the fuck on. Um, she's, you know, hanging out with Erica, and she's telling her, like, you know, I want you to be a part of my bridal party. I want you involved. You're Imani's mom. And for me, I didn't feel like it was no mess. I didn't really feel like it was no mess. Uh, I felt like that was natural for that to happen that way. I feel like the mess is inviting uh, Bambi to be in the party. I feel like Mama D in this moment, um, it would not behoove you either way to um, make a choice, you know, to go with the more practical choice. But then again, it's Mama D. What y'all want me to do? Like, anyway, girl, so I'm about to just go right on into this story because I feel I was very intrigued. I was very in intrigued. I sat, watched the shit 6,000 times because I thought it was funny. So I watched the show just to watch that part. So um, 
She's planning the wedding. The wedding's going to be in a few weeks. Jasmine's not having it. But anyways, Mama D tells Erica she wants her to be a bridesmaid. She also wants Bambi to be a bridesmaid. She also wants her best good homeboy or girl, Chanel, um, to be uh, a part of the bridal party. And, of course, her daughter, Jasmine. Jasmine is like, you got me fucked up, mama. Uh, I don't want you falling into the same ass bullshit. I feel like we need to protect your coin. <laughs> Basically. Bitch, she said, we need to protect your little money. That you, the little money you getting from I deserve. I don't want you to lose all $6,038.72 of your money. Of your, you know, uh, of your uh, royalty. For my desire fucking around with this nigga, so, so, you know, your life saving, so, um, girl, what happens next, uh, Mama D gave me this damn, all the king's horses and all the king's men, threat of the century, she basically was like, you gonna get involved, I'm gonna knock your fuck ass out, <laughs> Jasmine, you know, don't embarrass me, and this is my day. And all the king's horses and all the king's men will not be able to put Jasmine's ass back together again if you don't get it together, girl. Oh, my God. Mama D, what is wrong with you? Girl, we got the same doctor or something. <laughs> Bitch, don't judge me. So anyway, that was water, so don't judge me. Um, so anyway, what's the, what the fuck happens next? So, okay. Girl, <laughs> after she did that, you know, oh my God. And then the argument between uh, Erica and Bambi, girl, I had to write down the shade because it was just too much for me. So, um, you know, she asked, uh, Mama D asked everybody if she's, if they are down with the crap. And she's just elated, and it's just her day, honey. She in her dress. Of course, Mama D has been on point, you know. She is one of the finest mothers, you know, um, that I've seen that age, you know. Because uh, usually, you know, when they get old, they get run down, you know. S some of us get run down, but when black don't crack and you take care of it a little bit better, um, you know, it can do wonderful things. And she's, she's a very, you know, beautiful woman. I think so. Um... And I also think she's come a long way. You know, she's come a little more polished. So it does, you know, it does her favor. Anyway, um, so in all her glory, she's asking everybody if they down for the crowd. Everybody's like, yeah. Erica's like, I'm here. And I'm just like, bitch, ugh, go, huh? Ugh, go away. I don't like Erica. Bambi's like, you know, I am down for the crown. Bitch. Just let Erica know, a little side shade, but I don't need to look at you, shade. And um, moving the fuck on, you know, so um, Bambi's like, and to show you how down I am, um, I'm going to provide, you know, hair for all the, you know, for the whole bri bridal party. Which, you know, for black girls, it might have sounded ratchet. It might have sounded ratchet. But for... For me, that was like, girl, yes, like, we about to get our weave, free weave, girl, I gotta pay all that money to try to get my shit, look at that point, she's like, Shimber, Shimberly, I guess it's a play on Kimberly, I don't know, because I don't know what Bambi real name, but it's like, uh, she was like, yes, Shimberly hair, Erica was like, I'm good, I have classics, and I didn't know classics was a clothing line and a weave line, but I guess it is, and hey, to, uh, uh, it's a brand, it's it's a brand, ain't nobody really doing that, I guess that's kind of hot, we're going to smoke on that one, because if not, I'm going to be sitting over here, I'm faking the phone, and I'm not doing it tonight, okay, I had a long motherfucking day, y'all don't even know how I be on these phones with people, try, girl, anyway, let me tell y'all how I get my I don't know y'all like that. Anyway, um, so, you know, Erica, I wrote down the bitch shade because I thought it was just so rude. 
She said, you look like a horse sitting over there. She was like, girl, buddy, you look like a horse sitting over there. She was like, I don't have time to deal with the family pets, okay? She's like, you know, and calling her fucking bamboo and shit. And I'm like, well, that bamboo was a little funny, but then at first it wasn't funny. But I had to make it funny because I'm like, yeah, because she totally skinny and stuff and like hard, like tough like bamboo, you know, and like bamboo is like no one gets skinny, but really like. I guess she really ain't got no shade for her because y'all AT aliens, y'all are good at reading the fuck out of somebody, but it's very southern. If we read the fuck out of you, you know, you get called shit like dusty. And bitch, you really don't have to say much yet. Because Bambi really didn't have to say much else. She called her a drama queen in her commentary. Uh, she was like, you know, she see Erica over there being, you know, number one drama queen. And she was like, well, for those of us that don't want to be over there looking dusty, yeah, you know, I like, and once you call a bitch dusty, bitch, we ain't got nothing else else to talk about. That make you go back and look at yourself in the mirror like, bitch, where? Bitch, bitch gonna call me dusty. Shit, you start, you know, doing like this and shit. <laughs> dusty ass bitches, it's just, it's all in the delivery. For those of us who don't want to be looking dusty, bitch, come over here to death row. <laughs> Come over here and shimmer lay, bitch. Um, and Mama D homeboy Chanel was over there just cracking the fuck up. Just like, <laughs> and I was just like, ooh. ooh. But yes, you know, I don't know. But I'm about to move the fuck on because I got too many notes and I don't feel like going through all that eight. So Jocelyn, uh, oh. Jocelyn has been sent for by K Fox. Bitch, I said K Fox. T Fox. So she came for her and was on point like a motherfucker. She was like, bitch. Uh, yes, hello. Oh, what the, how are you? Good. <laughs> Let's get this done. Time is money, bitch. Something you don't really know nothing about right now. Um. I like the way that K that Lord, I do not want to start calling this girl. K Fox. Tiffany Fox, I like the way that you did that, girl. I like the way that you remained a woman about yours because bitches who got shit to hide and fucking your man on the low and all of that, those bitches is a little harder to be tamed because, bitch, I already want to slap you anyway because I really want your spot. But I'm going to try to be cool for like at least 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 before I go the fuck off. But when you don't have a reason, like, you don't really, you don't have a reason. And uh, Tiffany Fox, she seemed like she got her head all the way on her shoulder straight. And I like it. I wouldn't give a fuck how y'all feeling about me taking this break to drink this water. Because y'all don't motherfucking understand, okay? It's nighttime. It's 88 degrees, it's 87 degrees in the house, okay? It's hot than a motherfucker. I've been hot all motherfucking day. I'm dehydrated. I need to drink some water. If your motherfucking ass can't hold for the drink, fuck you. Fast forward, do you not know how? So you should be fast, you should already be at this part where I'm ranting and raving. Bitch. Anyway. Girl, let's get the fuck on with this shit, because I am not trying to be here forever, and I've already been here for 13 minutes too long. Uh, so, you know, Jocelyn come in, she put her glasses, how you, <laughs> hey, bitch, no eye contact, bitch, what do you want, what you the hell, you know, and she talking her shit like, you know, baby, he want to walk around, and he want to walk with this old bum ass bitch, uh, what is, uh, called her cut fox or some shit, I don't know what the fuck she was calling her, but she was like, but at the end of the day, it's okay because she got to come see Jocelyn Hernandez, Jordan, before she go to say anything to my husband, bitch. <laughs> Girl, bye. No, you don't. My child done came and got up from the depths of the sea and walked herself into my bathroom to go pee. That's okay. If you got to go, you got to go. But I just don't like people busting through doors. I don't like people busting through my doors when I'm being grown, having grown up time, and you're supposed to be sleep anyway. 
moving away and putting stuff away. Um, so, you know, basically she was like, um, you know, she was like, I just wanted to let you know that it wasn't no flagrant, you know, BS going on. I'm not over here, you know, screwing around with your man. It's strictly business, you know, he, um, you know, we're mastering a track and I just wanted to come run it by you because I don't want no problem, me see. <laughs> And, um, um, you know, I think that kind of, you know, stroked, I think, you know, Tiffany knows how to play the game. And she stroked Jocelyn's ego just how she wanted and reeled her in, and that's how you're supposed to do it. A, a, a woman who does not have control over her emotions, a woman who uh, does not know how to exude any sort of class or common sense about herself, you have to, you, I, those type of females to me, you a little slow, like for, for me, you a little slow, like you a little socially retarded, and I don't like women who like, they can't see their circumstance, like Jessica Dime, Penny, Nickel, you cannot see your circumstances and where you stood, you are used to being empowered, and you are used to people throwing money at you, and I think you saw um, what you thought was a John in Jazzy Faye, when in reality, what um, you were looking at was a businessman, so when you couldn't shut it down in his place of business, and then you tried to turn around like, let's turn on disrespectful, he was like, bitch, no, Lord, so, yes, I'm closing my door, her door. Back at it. Um. Anyway, where was I at? I forgot my place in life. Um. But yeah. Anyway, she just. Anyway, she knew what to do. Oh, when Jessica Dime was doing all. When Jessica Dime, you know, was acting all oh, how she, she was acting. I was like, bitch, duh. No wonder why. You know, like you thought what you thought you was dealing with, you was not dealing with, and sucks for you because. Now, you are known specifically in this game by two top by two top people as an embarrassment. You are socially retarded. But anyways, back to um, uh, Tiffany Fox, you know, so she covers that over. And I was smiling the whole time because I was a little nervous for her. I'm not going to lie. I was a little nervous for Tiffany Fox. I was like, bitch, because who, how you got short with, um you know, Jessica Dime, Penny Nickel, I just knew, you know, that, uh, you, you know, you wasn't going to be able to handle this, but you showed, um, some professionalism, I thought it was dope, I was there for you, um, and you are starting to become one of my favorite people as long as Jocelyn like you, I'm down with you, but if you start pissing her off, bitch, because, let me tell y'all, y'all, what y'all need to understand about Jocelyn is, like, for her, it's like, let's get this money. Regardless, don't be in your, fit. don't ever be in your feelings when it comes to getting this money. So, at the end of the day, when she went the fuck off on Margot, that shit was warranted like a motherfucker. Because, bitch, at the end of the day, you got a platform that your motherfucking ass didn't get, which is going to bring me to my next point, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to get ahead of myself, I'm not, I'm going to calm myself the fuck down a little bit, so, um, Jocelyn is like, yeah, so, you know, I heard around town that, about this fake ass management company, and that shit is some fucking bullshit, right, and she was like, basically like, bitch, that's, you know, his baby mama trying to get on, and that bitch need to stick to cleaning fucking houses, okay, and, um, I don't know why he's helping this bum-ass crusty pawn old Pilgrim Beach. <laughs> but me, me. But he, he needs to quit. And right now, about now, you know, I'm going to have to, she was like, you know, it, but it's all good. I'm going to check him about that later. So, cool. She's going to check him about the shit later. And she do. 
um, you know, um, I, oh, but I'm, I don't want to get ahead of myself. So, she basically is like, I'm going to go make me some moves on my own. So, she got a surprise for the world. She got a new song, y'all. Let me like this so I can clear my mind. Bitch, let me tell you something about this song. Is it me? What do y'all think? Because is it me? Is it me? <laughs> I'm just trying to see, is it me? Or do this shit sound like some 1987 too legit to quit MC Hammer <laughs> bullshit? <coughs> I said no. She was like, what is it? 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 No, I couldn't say. Hell, I can't deal. I can't deal with Jocelyn. And, you know, I think, Jocelyn, I think you shouldn't mess with a good thing. I think that Stevie J has been putting in this work with your ass and getting you to where you need to be. I think that um, he's been telling you what's hot and what's not. So why in the fuck would you try to go against that judgment, that better judgment that, you know, you know you need your husband. And I hate that every time, bitch, every, let me talk to you in your language, bitch. And I just can't stand every time you get in your feelings and then you get to quitting on Stevie, getting to quitting on Stevie. And I just be like, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you that you don't understand that you are not a motherfucking thing without Stevie? <laughs> oh, bitch, I'm back. I don't know. I was trying to get... <laughs> I was in Mex uh, Puerto Rico somewhere. But, yes, I'm moving the fuck away from that because I didn't want to even... I didn't even write that many damn notes down for this shit that Jocelyn got going on. All I know is that shit sounded like some straight up 87 MC Hammer, too legit to quit. Girl by business. Moving the fuck away. Uh. Oh, wait, no. Let's not move on. Tiffany Fox and Jacqueline Hernandez share a common denominator. They both do not like no motherfucking Jessica Don Penny, Nickel, Silver Dollar. <clears throat> they both don't like short change. Ha! <laughs> we gonna call her short change. Nobody's fucking with short change and, um, you know, and that kind of warms, um, you know, that kind of warms Jocelyn up a little bit. She's like, oh, bitch, you don't like short change? I don't like, you don't like short change? I don't like that bitch either. I don't like no motherfucking dusty ass, peak wig ass bitch walking around this house. Um, anyway, um, so, you know, like, yes, I thought, I thought, yes, it was cool. Um, uh, Jocelyn talked to Stevie about her record, unbeknownst to him, um, but he gonna cut her the fuck off. I already know he gonna, he gonna cut her ass off. Jocelyn, you better stop playing because y'all ain't did this wedding yet. Y'all ain't, y'all ain't officially married. Y'all need to stop playing now, but I am gonna tell y'all this. You can get your marriage sealed. You know, by, you can't get it sealed so that it's a secret. Also, if they got married in Puerto Rico, then that shit is not going to be a public record for the United, you know, in the United States. You got to dig deep. You got to dig motherfucking deep because the rules is different. The games is different. Now, if they wanted to come over here and present it to the judge, you know, and all of that, bitch, uh, Jocelyn, basically, Jocelyn just going to have to divorce his ass in Puerto Rico. Ass nigga. Um, anyway, girl, let's move the fuck on to this Nico bullshit, because did nobody really want to talk about this, because I think we all getting tired of talking about Nico, but, like, for me, I think, like, these people, some of these people are, like, my friends, they are my friends, so, like, you know, it's still, it's still, like, it, it's, who it just still fucks with you when you see certain people, you know, and it's just an annoyance in your life. Nico is an motherfucking annoyance in my motherfucking life because you keep weaseling your way back in the seas, and I don't understand why we are just even still giving him this. Why are we even still doing this? Why are y'all still letting him come back on the scene with the gasoline? Good. So, 
Nico's mama came a running to check on her son because this bum ass nigga is in the streets getting her motherfucking she the talk of the town at all the church picnics and all of the fucking church functions. Now she being talked at, looked at like a motherfucking dog and she had to come check on your stupid gay ass in Atlanta because you done fucked around and they call now they calling her sister stupid. And shit like that, you know what I mean? Because your bum ass over here running around having sex with boys and, you know, rooming with grown ass men and shit and being married but having sex tapes and open marriages and your wife don't even fuck with you no more. So what the fuck are you out here doing, son? So she had to come check on her boy and then Marco shows up. And I just felt like, ooh, this is just so embarrassing and I just wish Nico would just stop embarrassing himself because he tried to play the role like he didn't know he was like what oh you seeing somebody else oh what oh what that's like that's crazy man you see another now that's right there that's because she didn't even give me a fair chance and I'm just like Nico take the fucking lemon out your motherfucking mouth he got DSL <clears throat> And we still going to pretend like, girl, bye, I'm not doing it anyway. So, you know, I just, I felt bad for Nico because I just felt like it was just that sad moment where it was like you just had to play that role in front of your mom. But you, y'all both know that shit is said and done. And Nico is just trying to keep his spot on the show. And it's just not happening for him. Like, I don't foresee it in his future. I'm excited that. You know, Margo is breaking away. I love her song, Start a War. Uh, I, I don't be listening to it. Because obviously it ain't that dope. But I ain't even heard it personally. I just heard, hear it on the show. But I just thought it was so sad. I was just like, bro, just stop, man. Come on. Like, how long are we going to keep putting up this um, charade? They are a fucking mess, you guys. Um, so, what's the name? Got a new boo, Margo. She like, yeah, I'm seeing somebody and it's getting serious. I've been seeing them for a long time. And I'm starting to think, I'm on the low because she keeps saying, like, somebody, but she ain't saying, like, he or she. And I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it's Arian. Is that crazy for me to say? What y'all think? Let me know down in the comments, if you dare. Um, bye, Nico. I ain't dealing with you no more. Bambi and Scrab get back on track. And I, for one, am happy about that. I was like, Bambi, bitch, you ain't doing enough to do this yet. Like, it's not the time to break away yet. But I like the tease. I like the tease. I like the tease. Um, I think it gave us a little insight to <coughs> how their relationship <coughs> is. <clears throat> um, because they always talking about how they going through this drama, but we don't never really see it. <clears throat> and so I thought it was a little refreshing for us to actually see the drama that Scrappy and Bambi go through. Because when we do see y'all on the screen, y'all cool kicking it. So y'all y'all just got finished getting along. Clearly, Bambi tried to pull a fast one because I think uh, they be fighting on the low, and Scrappy don't be letting that shit go down. You know, during taping, during taping, he'd be like, look, bitch, we gon' this is how it's gonna be. Uh, if you want me to keep you on as my gal, you gonna <laughs> get a little fist night But anyway. <laughs> That's your bow. Anyway. Um, I was just happy to see them back together all lovey-dovey, you know, all touching on each other and stuff like that. Bitch, now let's get to where the fuck I've been trying to get to all the fuck night. These two bum-ass bitches, <clears throat> Jessica Dime, Penny, short change, nickel dime, half a quarter dollar, and Margo, M-A-R-Q-U-X-Y-N-Z-E-Y-U. W O uh Jocelyn. Uh anyway, the bitch <clears throat> these two bitches get together and they talking about, you know, like they're pretty much just talking about the only thing that they only the only motherfucking thing that they have in common. Um uh I know Marco wants uh Jessica Dime Penny to get on uh Get on the start a war track with her. 
And so, you know, she's there for it. Of course you are, bitch. You, you don't have nothing else to do. Clearly. Because uh, somebody else doing your job. Uh, K. Fox, <laughs> Tiffany Fox doing your job. But whatever. Um, I just feel like they just two ain't shit bitches. They meet up for drinks. Yeah. <clears throat> fucking, uh, what's her name? Jessica Dime looking like fucking Howard the Duck, honey. Like, the girl version of Howard the Duck. And I was just like, not there for it. Uh, and, oh, I just cannot stand Ronnie, like, I just, girl, she just remind me of motherfucking Ronnie from the Players Club. Do y'all remember fucking, do y'all, nigga, I know y'all remember the Players Club with Jamie Foxx, nigga, he was a DJ, and the fucking, uh, y'all remember who the fuck, y'all remember Bernie Mac, boom, y'all remember. Um, and that's just who she remind me of, a janky ass Ronnie, like, walking around with these fucked up wigs on, and I just, Makes me itch the ooh, just to think of the syntheticness of it all. Um, but anyway, uh, you know, they sitting over there talking shit about Jocelyn and you know, talking about okay, so Margot tells her uh what happened with the photo shoot and how she talked to Jocelyn and you know, Jocelyn was going bad on her and shit, talking about I'm trying to help you out. And then Jessica Dime, dupe, shortchange, penny nickel was like, she can't even help herself, bitch, what? Like, what is she talking about? What? <laughs> She's like, Margo's like, I know. <coughs> and I'm thinking to myself, what the fuck are y'all talking about? <coughs> bitch, wasn't you just... <coughs> Let me calm down, because I'm over here with fucking asthmatic cough. Bitch, Jessica Dime shortchanged Penny Nickel. Wasn't you just the fuck hounding the fuck out of Mimi trying to find Jocelyn, bitch, which that shit was a fail. You went up in there fucking with, uh, fucking with that girl, and when you should have been, because you didn't have your shit together, because you socially retorted, like I said, you wasn't able to do with Tim Tiffany. Bitch, you have not been able to accomplish nothing that, uh, that... Tiffany Fox has accomplished everything. She has taken your motherfucking spot and just annihilated your ass every step of the fucking way. And you still running your mouth like you Billy Badass. Humble yourself, bitch. <laughs> Excuse me, and I'm back. I'm gonna have this little girl. Humble your motherfucking self. I got Scooby snacks, weed. Oh, it's a mess. Humble your motherfucking self, bitch. This is the fucking problem. Now, what you should have done when you went to go meet, when you went to the fucking wherever the fuck y'all was at <clears throat> that y'all made an appearance at, clearly, wherever the fuck y'all was at, when you went up to Tiffany Fox, you should have had a game plan, bitch. What you should have been asking yourself instead of being up there kicking it with the fucking devil. Dawn. You should have been over there having you a game plan like, I'm just going to see what I could get out of her. What information. I, even mean girls do this, okay? Even mean girls who mean to steal your spot will do this. Will play your friend. Cozy up to you. And find out all your motherfucking secrets. Bitch, lo and behold, she told you some shit that you probably been hearing your whole fucking life. Which is probably the reason that you chose the career route of being a stripper instead of a model or a career woman. Because you cannot take direction. You are rough around the edges. The fact that you think it is cute and off the chain that... <clears throat> You got shaded the fuck out of by little old Jermaine Dupree who told you, okay, your shit is like stripper fight music. And then passed your punk ass over to the junior producer. When, and you're not happy because what? You're not happy because Mimi did not have enough clout to get people to take you seriously? Bitch, P. Diddy don't have enough clout. To get people to take you seriously. Bitch. Hello. Done. 
done. Done with that. I'm done with you. I feel like I'm done with you. I didn't even mean to read you for fills. Bitch, I took notes because this bitch, Tiffany, did read you for fills, bitch. <clears throat> Uh, so it's Tiffany and her manager, and it's Jessica Fox, and it's her manager, Dawn, her future manager. Jessica, the, oh my God, she feeling like some type of way. She feeling like, um, I'm finna go over here, cause you know, I, 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 I address hoes on a daily, I don't give a fuck, blah, 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 bitch, blah. I can't. Funky, bitch. Funky ass attitude, funky ass outfit, fucking matching crop top, shorts look like draws, nasty ass boots, nasty ass pink wig, and even though Jessica Dime is a pretty girl, if she would just put on some fucking regular ass black hair, long, sleek black hair, long or short scarlet curls, the same hairstyles, but just basic black. Why are you walking around here like a cartoon character? You guys, I know it's 2015, but it ain't, it just ain't natural. <clears throat> and it's just not cute. It's really not. You already have so many other wonderful things going on for yourself. Please tone that shit down. That's how you can begin to polish your image and be taken seriously. Bitch, you are no Nicki Minaj. Okay, Nikki, girl, nope, I'm not getting into it, but, um, anyway, girl, T-Fox gave her the shade of a lifetime, she said, bitch, you classless, you unprofessional, she said, bitch, I'm working with Jazzy and Stevie, bitch, Mimi said, they don't want to work with you because you're unpolished and you're very unprofessional, she said, bitch, I'm very professional, bitch, I'm on stadium stages, Bitch, I'm on the radio, you know, I'm working with people, bitch. I'm kicking and booting your ass out of hotel rooms, bitch. And, you know, Jessica's like, <clears throat> you know, she's complaining about working with the junior producer. She looking dumb as fuck because she over here asking um, Tiffany, like, well, what, you know, what they say? Well, what she say? Well, Mimi's not being honest. And just looking dumb every step of the way, looking vulnerable, looking dumb, looking dumbfounded, looking just over, just over, just overcooked, overran, and done, just too rotated around the motherfucking corners. Too many times, it's too many bullet holes to stab wounds and cigarette burns. It's too many track marks in the arm. The motherfucking vein doesn't shut down. The lights is out, okay? The fat lady has some, bitch, just done. Um, and you just getting read the fuck for filth, but in a very polite way, but you still mad. So you telling her, you hate like, bitch, cause you over here, for, oh, because you fucked them, cause you fucked them. Bitch, even if I did, it's more than I can say for you, bitch. I do not get paid to take my clothes off, okay? You do. That's what you doing. Because until you start doing anything else, bitch, that's what you've done. That's what you do. Bitch, until you've actually turned the leaf, we can't say you've turned the fucking leaf. It would be a lie. I'm back, y'all. I'm back. So, yeah, y'all, that's pretty much it. I'm trying to calm down. I was just mad because Jessica threw that water and then ran. <clears throat> Girl, uh, what's the name? Little homegirl, little manager, she was like, bitch, flipping tables, bitch, like, trying to get to that little girl, and I'm like, you so little, that's so sweet, but, um, yeah, she did that, she, I, I, girl, bye, it was a lot, um, what else the fuck is going on, Don at the end, you know, cause, you know, what's name, sitting there going off, fuck me, me, I'm done with that bitch, when I, man, I'm finna embarrass that bitch, I'm finna light her ass up, I'm finna tear up that motherfucking contract, in her motherfucking face. Mimi better hope she don't get popped in the mouth because she done sat here and talked all this shit and embarrassing me. Just making everybody, making every excuse and making everybody else to blame except for her motherfucking ass. Just, Jessica and I am walking around here swearing to God her and Jocelyn Hernandez is on the same motherfucking level. And you not even on Jocelyn's level and that's saying a lot. Okay? I'm sorry. Y'all know I'm here for Jocelyn. I am. But, bitch, you got pulled out the gutter. Just like Drea. That's another bitch. We not gonna do it, bitch. 
girl, bye. I'm not doing it. Um, but at the end, Dawn, you know, she come like a little snake, like the devil herself, and um, hand her ten racks, you know, and like, bitch, this is what I'm working with, cause Dawn, Dawn is like, bitch, I'm gonna get you the money. And if you the type of bitch that's like, uh, bitch, I just want to get the coin. I just want to make my coin. Then, bitch, you better go see about Dawn, bitch. Uh, but the shit that uh, uh, Don was trying to do, I mean, that Mimi was trying to do is different. Don is booking her shows because Don is a booking agent. And I suppose, like, bitch, it ain't no really, it ain't no way you could really read Don for filth for that because, bitch, I could be a manager because I'm a booking agent, bitch. I book the motherfucking shows and I can manage a bitch career. Shit. Um, it's it go it's more work that goes along with it, but not very much. And I, it's subtle differences. Um, but if you are all the way around it, bitch, then you can do it. You can do it. You a contract away, bitch. It's about a contract. Labels is labels, bitch. I can call myself a manager now. I'm a manager now. I'm a manager. Boom. Come on over here to Miss Jenkins Records, cause now I'm a manager. Cause you know why I'm a manager? Cause I said I'm a manager. Bitch, the title, that's vanity titles. But anyway, girl, bye. Your credentials is what's, what's really good. <clears throat> um, Don hands Jessica 10 racks, you know, tell her to come fuck with her. So, Jessica's done. She's like, I'm about to rip up this bitch shit. But not before she do one last show and make Mimi eat it. Eat it. Because she's gonna have Margot perform and she's gonna do Star Wars, that shit's gonna be hot. And I think they think they're gonna walk off into the sunset. But I think Mimi is gonna have something for her ass because if Jessica Dime sound, signed a contract, she can't rip that contract up without um, giving Mimi what the fuck she owe her. And so I think that's how we're gonna keep that story going. If she signed the contract, I'm not sure because she was talking some shit about ripping it up in her face. I don't remember. I don't remember if Mimi was like, bitch, look the shit over and get back to me and make sure. She did. She was like, yeah, make sure your lawyers like this shit and all that. So, I don't know. I don't know, bitch. Um, I look forward to the reunion. I can't wait for the reunion to get here. This is like the 15th episode, season four. Episode 15. Dang, don't y'all think y'all dragging it out a little bit? Or is it 20? Do she do, I think Mona did 20 episodes. I'm not sure. But 20 episodes of this shit, girl. Come on, Mona. Because it, it got to co go somewhere. Um, What y'all want to see? Like, what do y'all want to see? What do y'all want to see happen? Like, what do y'all want to see happen um, with Rashida and <clears throat> and um, Kalina? Um, What do you want to see happen with um young jock you know like what is he gonna be able to do i definitely want to see more of life and carly red i think that will be dope i would live for them to be all in the you know how she was with benzino i would live for her to be like that with um with life because life is like you know he's kind of like a little sexy yellow man and I think, you know, he would just be, like, you know, hot with the hotness. I don't know. I think he would be with the hotness. He would be having that voice when he's talking to her, like, you know. I just really like your smile, and I think you just, you know, really fine when you just be <laughs> You know, I, I would like to see them uh, go somewhere. And who else? Um, it looks like Rick Sheeta and Kirk going to be getting along and stuff. I really don't care. Uh, I think at the end of the day, I want to see every female in the world winning. But I think really, like, ugh. I don't think are we ready to skip from, you know, I think that if I was an unaware viewer, like how I used to be, I think that I would probably be still siding with uh, Rashida. But I'm just not a fan. Like, she's not my fan. I'm not a fan. You know, no, she's not a fan favorite of mine. So, I don't know, you guys. Like, what do you guys want to see? I'm trying to think of what else I want to see. I want to see the Jordans take over um, L.A. I want to see Shanelica with uh, uh, Jocelyn with a new group of friends. You know what I mean? Like, young-looking girls, young-looking girls like her self. 
um, you know, that's like, you know, twerking and working, and you know, like, some girls that she really got their back, because we ain't really got to see Jocelyn have somebody back and have, like, a real friendship and a real relationship. Her and Carly's relationship is kind of just like, bitch, we just fake friends, like, bitch, I could talk about your ass, you could talk about me, and, like, we both on the same level, and I won't fuck you up when I see you. Okay? Because I also need your ass, because you be gossiping. You be knowing all the business, man. So, you know, I gotta keep you in a loop. At least till I get to L.A., and I can dump your ass, because, and then knowing Carly Red, old crazy ass, she'll probably follow her ass to L.A., and next thing you know, bitch, got Mercy boutiques popping up all over the fucking place, and I'm not there for that. Um, I'm out of here, y'all. I've been just running my mouth, talking about some more tired. You know what I'm going to get to rubbing that ear. It's time to go to bed. I love y'all. Hotep. Ooh, did I just say Hotep? Damn. Peace and blessings. I'm really tired. Peace and blessings, you guys. I love you. Stay black and all that. Don't nobody talk bad about me.